How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts Part Two. In Part One, Rhys James led it, but now I am taking control, <laughs> and Emma's story is still, still with here. us. She's still, still here. here. Look, look, still she's here. Still here. She's a tweetheart, <laughs> as you can see. Anyway, guys, let's get on to the first topic. And Sherwood, yes, Tim Sherwood used to play for us, used to manage us, now unemployed, has said Spurs' scouting policy is spot on. It's on the money, Rhys. What's your thoughts? Oh, who cares? Thank you. It's Sherwood. You don't get an opinion anymore, mate. You've no lost one cares. the right to an opinion on Spurs. No one is interested. Do you know what it's like? It's like that really irritating ex-boyfriend you had a really bad, drawn-out breakup with and it was all really painful and then they just won't leave you alone. Emma, he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well. Sherwood, shut up. Sh <laughs> All right. So, well, anyway, right, he's right. I mean, he's, he, I mean, he is right. But I, I mean, it, we, anyone, any of us could have said that. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Our scouting policy is obviously great. But it like, is. Why is he staying obvious? So he thinks he's trying to get a job. He's trying to get another job, isn't he? Everyone has eyes showing. He wants okay. his old job back in charge of our youth team. Admittedly, he hasn't tried to take credit for Harry Kane, Ryan Mason, or any of the others for ooh, at least well, I don't know two weeks now. So yeah. maybe it's about that time again. Yeah. yeah. Twenty-four hours. He's trying Ugh. to creep back in. Get lost, Sherwood. All right. Let's talk about Lamella now. Lamella has come out and said a move in January would be difficult, but in the future, why not? Also, to Roma. Thoughts. Oh, for God's sake. This is one of those ones where it's massive spin. Like, the boy's given one little quote where all he said was maybe in the future. He didn't say he wanted to leave. No. He didn't say he wanted to go anywhere. No. He didn't say he was about to. No. In fact, what he also said, the bit that never makes the headlines, is the fact that Tottenham make him feel special. Of course. Uh, so, to me, this is a complete <laughs> non-story. This is stirring it. because It's the worth noting, about to I think you've had an effect on everyone at Spurs. Because, <laughs> no, honestly, when Lamella came on, everyone, there was a real, like, was standing excited? ovation for, for him. Yeah, he was yeah. there. Yeah, People I was wanted. there. Everyone was there. Really changed, happy changed when he came yeah. on. I was like, what? And then the comments even said, now he's become a, a fan favourite. But what I would say is that quote, I think no one is, again, no one's upset by that because, like, maybe someday Lamella will leave. I would be up for that. But also, that's not something I'd be up for maybe leave, someday him leaving. Yeah. I don't want him to go now. And he said he's not going in January, which would be ridiculous anyway. But I'm happy for him to go maybe someday. Should he, should he start on the weekend against West Brom? It's a difficult one because Sun did play really well against Chelsea, I thought. Um, mm. Probably, no, keep him on the bench. He but should. I think he could be a good... You think he should? He's still in my fantasy team, I need those... <laughs> ah, so there you we go. fantasy be football before reality. This is why well, I don't know. Player, this, is, a, this is why I don't do fantasy Son, football anymore. So that I Son. don't make choices like that. He's not Son. Anyway, speaking of Hyung Min Son, uh, he's won Asian Footballer of the Year. <laughs> he had so much competition yes. from the likes of Kagawa. <laughs> Suck that, Kagawa, you idiot. Ah! Exactly. And <laughs> Honda. And, you know, <laughs> all of the other three. Yeah. yeah. Does Look, he deserve it? It's an award. Just take it. It's an award. We've won something. Woo! <laughs> it was 50 50 whether he'd win it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and he won it. The flip of a coin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, does he deserve it? Of course he does. He does, yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's good. He's but it's, it's just not, it's not, it's yeah. not a category. Look, it's, in all seriousness, you think about when we bought him, everyone was going, oh, not sure about him. Oh, I don't know who he is. Oh, can he play like an out-and-out striker? Blah, blah, blah. He's come in. He's actually had a really good impact. At he has. He has. He has played really well. Running. And finally, he had his little injury, which we were all a bit worried about. Looked a bit off the pace when he came back. Yep. But against Chelsea, much more back to his old self. Like, I think the boy's done well. And he always looks so happy as well. Have you noticed he how does, happy yeah, he looks when playing smiling. football? I love that. He does. Yeah. I love that. All right, guys. Well, this has been Spurvets Part 2. If you agree with anything we said, leave a which comment below. Oh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and we'll see you next week. Keep it casual. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's edition of Seven O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. To start off tonight, I'll be talking about Andros Townsend, who played a full 90 minutes for our under 21s as we went on to beat Middlesbrough 2 1. 